Hey, how's it going? It's Kevin. I wanted to go over how to tie a really simple, effective uh, Zonker style pattern. It has a little bit of variation from the original, but I think it's been pretty effective for me. So in the vise right now, I have a partridge. It's a bomber size four hook. Not the typical hook you'd use, but it has a um, uh, tungsten cone head on it right now. And I'm going to be using the Lagerton 95 denier extra strong thread in black. So I'm gonna run a base. Then I'm gonna use some 0.20 lead wire. A little trick with the lead wire as you go to put it inside these cone heads is if you put it on the top of the shank and you insert it in, it'll actually hold that cone head so it stops bouncing around. It won't hold all the way, but it'll give it a good place to live. So the one thing I really like about this fly is I've got a lot of weight up here on the front. I can fish this on a floating line with a really short leader and kind of use it for hitting the pockets. Now I'm gonna put on my rib. This is a Lagerton. It's the oval medium and a silver. And then for the body, on this fly, I'm going to use the Lagerton. It's the, uh, the French flat braid. This is a really cool color because it's got some iridescence to it. It's a mix of kind of like a pearl, a green, a black, all kind of in there. So it really has a nice look in the water. It has a little bit of, uh, of flash, so you don't actually need to tie flash on the fly. So I've got my body laid there, got my ribs still in the back. I'm gonna take a rabbit strip. This one, these are not the cross cut, these are the straight cut, so the fibers lay straight down on the, the hide. Um, this one has a little bit of a frosted tip, it's black with some white frosting. Trick whenever you pull these rabbit strips out of the pack, the hide can be a little bit messed up, not enough when it dried after the dyeing. So if you just take this in your hands, you just pull it straight and give it a good tug, it'll straighten that hide right back out and it's easy to work with. So here I'm gonna tie this right in underneath that cone head as tight and as far up as I can possibly get it. You want to make sure that stays right in line with the top of your uh, the top of your hook shank there. All I'm going to do is take this rib, take this oval medium tinsel and run it right back up and kind of split open the hairs as I do it. And you want to make sure you keep this hide right on the top of the hook shank. So you want to pull back the fibers and go ahead and just start just wrap in your tinsel. And as you get it set, you can kind of pull it back and straighten it out. Then for every wrap you do, advance it, pull some of the hair back, don't trap any, and just do a normal kind of palmer up to the front. And then with a little bit of pseudo seal black, you can give yourself a nice collar. Dub this in. You'll see more on like a slump buster pattern or on some of these other zonkers, people will put a, uh, either keep unwrapping the rabbit ship around the collar or they'll put a hackle in. For this fly, I like it to get down quick and I really don't want any of that stuff kind of interfering with the, the sinkability of this fly. So I just make a nice, generous dubbed collar that'll pick out and look pretty buggy once it gets fishing. And then for trimming the tail, what you wanna do is you wanna get into that tail and take it right at the, right here at the, the uh, we're gonna take it right at the bend of the hook. You wanna make sure that you're cutting just the hide, not the fibers, because the fibers will hang out longer than the hide. So that's a pretty easy fly to tie. With that bomber style hook, uh, it'll stop from the short strikes, and it fishes nice and deep. You can fish on a floating line with a short leader and really hit pockets. If you enjoyed this video, just click like down below, subscribe to my channel, or check out some of these other videos I've done. Thanks.